Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel, Seal Kef. In this video, I am going to discuss about lateral torsional buckling. I already discussed about this point, but in glimpse I have discussed, but in this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the lateral torsional buckling. And also I have discussed about the laterally supported versus laterally unsupported beam. If you have not yet watched that video, please go through that so that it is very easy to understand about the lateral torsional buckling. First thing that is one of the most important point regarding this lateral torsional buckling is it occurs in only in the laterally unsupported beam. Here you can see this is a picture which is related to the laboratory experiment on lateral torsional buckling. With this practical picture, I am going to explain about the lateral torsional buckling. Here I am considering a beam which is restrained at the both the ends. And also I am going to apply a point load on this beam. And if you go on increasing the load which is coming onto this beam, initially the beam undergoes vertical deflection. That means in the vertical direction, the beam is going to undergo deflection and thereby up to certain extent it undergo vertical deflection. But because of its high unsupported length and also high slenderness ratio, the beam starts undergoing in the lateral direction deformation. And also along with the deformation in the lateral direction, it starts to undergo rotation in the lateral direction. On the other hand, whatever the tension flange, it tries to resist this, whatever the lateral deformation and also lateral rotation. But whatever the resistance offered by this tension flange is not enough to oppose whatever the deformation and the rotation, thereby causing the beam to undergo lateral deformation along with the twisting and this is nothing but the lateral torsional buckling. Here you can observe the graph clearly that is if you go on increasing the load whatever the vertical displacement is going to increase up to certain extent after the vertical displacement the beam is undergoing this horizontal displacement. This is the graph you can see clearly. Here you can observe clearly that the compression flange is not restrained against the rotation. So that's why the whatever the beam is free to undergo lateral deformation along with the rotation. And also this is a 3D image you can observe clearly. Here the beam is undergoing the lateral displacement along with the torsion that is rotation of the beam is going to take place in the lateral torsional buckling. What are the factors which are going to affect this lateral torsional buckling is, for example, I am considering an I section and if you are going to apply whatever the load which is going to pass exactly through the shear center of the beam, then the effect of the lateral torsional buckling is going to be minimum. And if you apply the load which is away from the shear center of the beam and which is producing the eccentricity in the beam and in that case whatever the lateral torsional buckling effect is very high this is the one of the important point and also coming to the second thing that is bending moment distribution across the length of the beam if the beam is undergoing the uniform bending moment distribution across the length of the beam then it will have the less torsional buckling resistance if there is a like different bending moment distribution then it is having the high torsional buckling resistance. Next coming to the third thing that is whatever the length is going to be play the important factor that is if the unrestrained length is high then whatever the chance of lateral torsional buckling is also very high. If you are go on decreasing the unrestrained length then this effect of lateral torsional buckling is going to be reduced and this is regarding the lateral torsional buckling whatever the real life video of this laboratory experiment I am keeping this link in the description it is already available in the YouTube. If you watch that video you can get the practical feel of this lateral torsional buckling and this is regarding the lateral torsional buckling. If you like my video please like the video and also share with your friends and also subscribe my channel so that you never miss the update regarding my channel. Thank you.